Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. Today's a massive promo Friday with that loading screen confirming that the World Cup team of the tournament cards are dropping today in FIFA 23. Now, what I want to do in this video today is take you through all of the leaks and the cards that we're expecting to see today because there's a lot. EA is seemingly dropping a massive promo squad today with more than just the usual 11 to 13 players. There are a lot of leaks right now. I think we're going to get a lot of players today representing all of the great individual performances during the World Cup tournament so far. And also today, we have the potential for one of the biggest flashback SBCs yet to grace this game. You may have seen the leak. We're going to talk about it. I think that SBC might drop today. And with all this going down and with the panic selling that we have seen already on the market, a lot of these Phenoms cards are absolutely in the mud. Kamavinga was 500k two days ago. He's 400,000 coins. Militao was 800k. He's now 630. A lot of prices on the market continue to drop as people are panicking before today's promo and next week's promo. So we're going to take a look at it all today and try to tell you guys where the market might be headed and what could be a very interesting day of FIFA 23. So if you're excited for today, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's start by looking at the flashback SBC that is leaked, and it is none other than Cristiano Ronaldo. These are the official stats on the card that Foot Sheriff tweeted out a few hours ago. This is the SBC that we will be seeing in FIFA 23 very soon, either today or or tomorrow or sometime this weekend, I think this is going to happen. I think there's a good possibility that it could be today, actually, because if you think EA liked to drop these really big flashback player SBCs on Fridays, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, whatever it was, we had the flashback Messi SBC on a Friday, right? And it's the same kind of thing with this flashback Ronaldo that we saw with the Messi, right? They're boosting the pace from Ronaldo's gold card. They're boosting the dribbling, but they're decreasing the shooting, the passing, and some of the other stats on the card. Basically, this is going to be a fun, pacey Ronaldo that's going to be able to dribble a little bit better, trying to emulate his earlier years in his career, right? That's the whole point of these like baby flashback SPCs. Now, this card is shown as a left wing and with the Portugal League links, not as a Manchester United card. And that is what is very interesting about the potential that's Ronaldo. Of course, Ronaldo is no longer at Manchester United since the World Cup has started. They have released him, right, because of everything that went down. Now, this gold Ronaldo is still in packs, which makes me believe that there's still a slight bit of a chance that this Ronaldo today could have a Manchester United badge on it and have those links. But what's so interesting about this card, if he is only dropped with the Portugal links, which is very possible as well, and it's shown here on this league, he would link to other players in the World Cup League, and of course, he would have the Portuguese links. I think being in the Portuguese League makes this, not Portuguese League, but the Portuguese World Cup Nation League, if that makes sense, right? It's just like Danny Alves, who's in the Brazil World Cup League, or Cavani, or um, Suarez that are in that World Cup League, right? I think it hurts the value of this card with the links that he has. I think people would really love to see the Manchester United links, even if he's not on that club anymore. I think EA still has the rights for him there, just because they've kept this gold Ronaldo in packs. So, Again, that's a bit of a tricky situation today. Of course, when the SBC drops, we'll know for sure. But I think this SBC needs to be a lot cheaper if he does not have the Manchester United links because that makes, I think that makes him a lot less linkable in this game. But regardless, the Messi SBC was not cheap, right? You guys remember seeing this SBC? It was about 320k right away. Then fodder started to go up, so his price went up. But I would expect this Ronaldo to be somewhere around two to 300,000 coins whenever he does drop. And I really think, guys, there is a good potential of this SBC drop in today. So be very, very careful about this. Now, speaking of SBCs, what other content could we have today here on the SBC section? I think there's potential for another showdown. There's no leaks yet, but of course, we've got a big game coming on Sunday, right? You might know about that. The World Cup final, Argentina versus France, and we're expecting a showdown SBC for that. If we don't get Ronaldo today, I think we maybe would get one of the showdown SBCs that we would expecting for the Sunday game. So in my mind, it's kind of like either a showdown today or Ronaldo. And then if we don't get one, we'll probably get that next one tomorrow on Saturday, right? That's kind of the two things I could foresee happening inside of SBCs today. Now, 
let's talk about this promo team. The car design is in here in the transfer market, searchable already, ready for 6 p.m. content today. One of these cards will drop in the game. You might be like, Nate, this car design looks familiar. Yeah, it's almost the exact same, just with inverted colors as the World Cup star cards that are available from swaps like Fabinho, like Ake, like Reggie Cannon, those guys. Yeah, it's, it's like EA was very lazy and just kind of swapped the colors around from the green and the red. But we have a lot of cards that are leaked, and I want to go through with you Starting from the guys that are on the loading screen, what cards could potentially be in pack today? He is going all out, right? Of course, we have seen the Messi, and what we know about this Messi card is he is a center forward because as the loading screen showed, he is a center forward card. I don't know if he's 95 or 96. I think he might be a 95, but I would love a 96 for Messi to be a nice big card boost for him there, but it's going to be a position change center forward. So that's going to be a big part of the messy card today. Now, as we look through more of these Gakpo, we've seen that one, right? Phil Foden, he is one of those cards on the loading screen with 93 dribbling. We believe that is Phil Foden's card. Um, Casemiro is confirmed. He is leaked. There's so many players, guys. There's going to be a lot that we look through here. Hopefully with Casemiro, they give him 80 pace. If they give him 79 or anything less than that, it's going to be a big bummer. And they've been doing really nice pace boosts to the these cards recently on that are, that are a little bit slower, right? Like Laporte, like Kiara that we talked about in yesterday's video. So hopefully Casemiro gets a nice pace boost there. Amrabat, that's a really, really deserved team in the tournament card. Again, these cards are given out based on who performed well or who EA thinks performed well during the World Cup tournament. Amrabat, so deserved. A lot of your Moroccan cards right now are going up in price, specifically Buffal, uh, because people are seeing all these Moroccan cards dropped on the game. You can make a nice squad of those players together and kind of celebrate their run in the World Cup. So that card looks nice. Probably going to be pretty cheap, but it's going to be a nice card in the game. Harry Kane, another English player to get a card, uh, a solid boost there for Kane. That's one that I want to try out for sure. Of course, people are going to meme that one for the penalty miss. Um, our first special goalkeeper card of the year, believe it or not, besides icons and heroes, we have not had any special goalkeeper cards also in forums. Uh, we haven't had a promo team uh, goalie card yet, and Bono looks like he's going to be the first one. Sevilla links, Morocco links. That's big for if you're running a Morocco squad right now, if you did El Yamiks SBC, if you did the... Um Showdown from yesterday. There's big links there with Bono. That's a nice card. Gavardiol, a beast looking center back card in the Bundesliga. I think he's going to end up being decently cheap um, because just the Bundesliga this year doesn't have that great of links, but that looks like a fantastic center back card. Dumfries was leaked yesterday. Serie A links will like this one for sure. He'll probably be pretty meta in game. There's not a lot of Serie A right backs that are on the market. That's going to be a great card. Also could play right mid. There was the Ronaldo card again. Dalo, another um, right back and another right back from the Premier League as well with the Man U links. There's a couple of Manchester United cards in this promo, uh, but that looks like a really, really nice card. People have said that Diego Dalot in FIFA this year is really good with his informs that he has had earlier on. That's going to be a card to watch out for today. McAllister is one of the Argentine cards we're getting today. That could be cool. It looks a little bit more like a cheaper card to me. Um, and also, we thought Julian Alvarez was going to be getting a card in this promo. Could that mean that Julian Alvarez is maybe going to be in the showdown whenever they drop that? Hopefully. The showdowns have been abysmal so far, so we would love that. Another Brazilian center back is getting a card tomorrow. Tiago Silva, right? Just like with Casemiro, we need the pace boost, man. And this card's probably going to end up being pretty sick in game. Of course, he had the flashback earlier on this year. You guys maybe remember that SBC, but Tiago Silva is going to be a card coming in packs of this promo. Gavi um, getting a card as well. That's kind of a crazy looking card. Spain represented here with this Gavi card. That's a crazy one. And Perisic for Croatia. That card looks nuts. If those stats are anywhere near, all the cards we've been looking at today are predicted stats, by the way, but that card looks absolutely crazy um, with those statistics right there. Now, going on for a few more leaks, there are a couple more leaks that we know about for sure. Mbappe is on the loading screen. It's almost obvious. 94 rated France, uh, PSG, like that's, I believe the loading screen at least shows 94 rated in France. That is definitely Mbappe, right? Mbappe is getting a promo card today. Um, Bruno Fernandez is another one that has been leaked, and so has Teo Hernandez. So for the French lads, this promo looks like Mbappe and Teo might be getting promo cards. I would be careful. I would take these
these leaks with an extra grain of salt because nobody else has leaked Bruno. Um, that's the only one that I've seen. And Bruno had a promo card literally just two weeks ago in the World Cup Stories promo. But that could be a nice card. Teo would be like the best left back in the game. And of course, Mbappe is going to be Mbappe. So those are all the leaks that we have. One more, Otamendi has been shown as well. I, I haven't heard too much about Otamendi, but um, that could be a promo card in the team today too. Regardless, there's a lot of cards coming today, and it almost kind of gives me the same vibes that we had last week with the Phenoms promo, where it was like, man, we're getting a lot of great players, big, big names, right, with solid upgrades in this promo, and I really feel like, again, we're at another Friday where I feel like a lot of the cards coming onto the market today could shake things up and could make people sell some cards from what they have in their team right now to go out and try some of these brand new promo cards. So I would I would be careful with stuff on the market again today. And we're going to continue to talk about the market uh, in this video. But as you guys know very well, a lot of these prices have been going down. I do think that some of the foot phenoms or the World Cup phenoms could go up a little bit in price today, but I would have to wait and see what the content is, what SBC has dropped, and how the market looks um, after that. Really, I just think today might be another day where a lot of cards in this game end up dropping further because there's just so many brand new promo cards that hit the market today that people are excited to use, right? I really think it's going to be very similar to last Friday where you saw a lot of prices dropping, especially on golds and other out-of-packs promo cards. A lot of the market prices today might just be continuing to fall down a little bit because this new promo looks like it's going to be really good. Now, also today, I think people have been saving packs. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you've been saving packs for today. This impacts the market a lot. When there are saved up packs, people open those right away when the new cards come into packs and you see their prices drop. Now, EA is still running lightning rounds on a late Thursday night, early Friday morning, UK time, and they're untradeable lightning rounds. So, you know, it's not impacting the supply on the market that much, but you know that EA is going to go all out with the lightning rounds today. But I think there's going to be a decent amount of weekend league rewards that have been saved up uh, or the like qualification rewards, maybe division rivals from yesterday, marquee matchups packs, 84 times 20s that people have been saving up to open with this promo because there's big names like Mbappe and Messi and stuff in it. I think there will be a decent amount of pack supply today right away. And I do believe that that will impact these team of the tournament cards. I think they're going to end up being just like the Phenoms were a pretty cheap promo team. I really think that that will be the case today that, that a lot of these cards will end up being decently cheap just because they're going to have a good amount of supply. Now talking about packs, there have been some other packs added to the code that, you know, if you guys are looking for swap tokens today, I know that's something that everybody is looking out for. Like, Nate, are we going to get those 60 tokens? I do not know the answer to that because we are running out of time to get those 60 tokens. If EA are going to do it, they said they're done with objectives. They haven't been doing any tokens through SBCs. And I don't see any new store packs added to the code for today. We've got an 83 times 10, an 84 times 5, 83 double, and a 78 times 3. Some of these, like, you know, a couple of these could be store packs. A couple of these could be SBC packs or via objectives. This, These ones here don't really mean too much to me, if I'm being honest. Now, a couple other ones in here are interesting, though. A mid-season 2 review pack contains one guaranteed player from Path to Glory, Road to the World Cup, or World Cup Stories, plus 14 rare gold players, all items and tradable. That is interesting. EA have been releasing a few packs like this so far this year. I think that will be either tomorrow or maybe on Sunday, um, but watch out for that pack in the store. That'll be one that people might gamble on just to have the opportunity to maybe pack a Path to Glory card. It'd be untradeable, but still, that's a pack people will gamble on for sure this weekend. And then this 85-plus World Cup Semifinal Nations player pack, a rare gold player 85-plus from Argentina, Croatia, France, or Morocco. This one, to me, almost sounds like one that EA might give out. I've like, been giving out packs recently. Last week, we had like the quarterfinal pack that they uh, gave out. Is this going to be one that they give out today? That'd be very, very interesting because it'd be giving people some fodder, and it would give you a pretty good chance at packing like Mbappe, Messi, um, the Perisic card, Bono from Morocco in the promo team, since it's an 85 plus, if all those guys are in packs, McAllister or Odomendi as well, if they're in the promo side, right, you'd have a lot of opportunity to pack those specific team of the tournament players if they are dropped in the game today. So that pack code was very interesting today. It might not be a free pack. That's just kind of almost what I'm thinking is what it seems to me. That's just something to watch out for today. But you notice what I don't see in here? 
I don't see any team of the tournament related token packs for the store. And that's what those guys, you guys in the, in the comments might be looking for is, hey, when is EA gonna drop more tokens? Without them updating the code, unless they do a late code update today, like I don't believe that they would drop another essentials pack that's named World Cup Phenoms uh, for a promo that's ending that would have a swap token in it. So I don't know what's going to happen with swap tokens, guys. I was hoping to see another token pack today in the store, but it's not looking like that we will see that as of right now. So like I said, um, a lot of supply is going to be hitting the market today because a lot of people are going to be opening packs. This promo team looks pretty good. So just like we saw last week with the Phenoms cards, their fluctuations are, they're going to be moving all over the place early on. Uh, but I, I do think you're going to see a lot of lightning rounds today. If you see a tradable pack in the store, like we saw last week, the 37 and a half K pack, that brought a lot of supply to these card prices and they got really low in the nighttime. Uh, and people would go and sell these cards off. They were getting packed and then they would go up into the next day in the morning. So we'll watch out for that same fluctuation with the team of the tournament cards today. But again, it's another weekend with the packs in the store that I see and with the content, the way that it looks, I would be very careful holding cards in your team. Path to Glories even. I bought a Griezmann yesterday to try out and I'm trying to, to sell him at the moment, but he just keeps slowly dropping. Man, this guy is like the best card in FIFA right now. He is so amazing. But I bought him yesterday at 1.25. I bought him like right here. He went back to 1.38 uh, and I haven't got him sold yet. I'm hoping for maybe a slight bounce into today on Friday. But um, I do think you'll see a little bit of panic selling this morning. I think you will on some gold cards, on some of these phenoms, just because I think just the today today's promo with all the cards, again, I think I counted correctly. There's either 16 or 18 players that are leaked right now across all the different leak accounts. Now, some of those might not be 100% true, so it might just be a normal promo team, but like that's a lot of players in packs. And I mean, we had a lot of players in packs this last week as well. It really feels like EA is going all out again today with putting some very popular names, some, some cards that haven't had promo cards yet with some pretty nice upgrades into the game. And they're trying to sell packs. They're trying to make that dough. And, and I think that's going to cause some more panic today. So with all these new cards dropping, I would be very careful with cards that are on the market that maybe you own and that are tradable. Again, we've been saying it recently. It's not really a good time to be owning players because a lot of prices just continue to drop. Like with that Bruno link yesterday, like look, Bruno was 470 on Wednesday and right now he's 415,000 coins and there's a lot bigger drops out there on other cards. Be very careful with any sort of card that you own at the moment right now. Now, I'm not saying the market's gonna explode today either. I think there will be opportunities to trade with some of these World Cup Phenom cards as they go out of packs, as the new cards, the team of the tournaments come into packs today. There will be no shortage of market fluctuation, that is for sure. There will be a lot of cards that you should be able to trade with today and be able to move in and out if you're trying to make a quick flip on some cards to try to make some coins. There will be opportunities to make coins today. All I'm saying is I think the market in general, as we have been seeing it decline recently, I do think that trend is going to continue just because EA are adding a lot of really new fun cards to the game and we're getting pretty decent SBC content and store packs as well which drain the coins off of this game. And a lot of people are still gonna be a bit worried to buy teams and buy cards with the Winter Wild Cards promo that is coming next week. That's in the back of people's minds as well. That promo coming next week is probably still scaring a few people. So I would be careful, again, owning cards on the market today. I just feel like the market trend of prices sliding down mostly is going to continue, except for maybe a few cards here or there. If you find the right spots, there could be some rebounds. But in general, a lot of stuff should probably stay the same or drop down a little bit. Now let's talk about SBC fodder because this is the weekend, right? Welcome to the weekend and welcome to the time where fodder prices usually dip and become very investable. And if you remember earlier in the week, we had some pack code that was dropped that was massive. It was the 88 plus, um, if I could find that pack, I might not be able to find it. Oh yeah, it's right here. An 88 plus mid or World Cup icon pack. Now, some people think this could be a part of the World Winter Wildcard Swaps program, which is very possible. I also think this has a potential to be an SBC, and I think that people will invest in SBC fodder this weekend, waiting for that pack to drop. So now here's another question you might have. Nate, is the Ronaldo SBC going to make SBC cards move today? We haven't seen player SBCs move this side of the market enough for it to be that profitable. So I would take a chance today and look to buy some of these cards 
after the content drop comes and after we get that pack supply, the lightning rounds, I do believe that we will see fodder prices dropping today and over the weekend. Today, tomorrow will be a really good opportunity to stock your club once again. Maybe stock up on some of the mid to higher tier players like the 86, 87, 88s, maybe even up to 91s. And of course, some of your 84s, 85s, because there will be SBCs upcoming this week. This is the time of the year in December where EA run a lot of the gamble packs, like the campaign packs and the player picks and stuff like that anyways, to try to drain our clubs and as they put good promos out as well. So I would just say, watch the fodder prices this weekend. If they dip down even more today, that could create a really, really good potential to make some coins. So I'm currently trying to sell a couple of the cards here. I have a couple of Romero's I'm trying to flip, a couple, uh, one Griezmann, right, that I made a really good buy on. I just missed time to sell because I was actually using the card and playing with him. I think there'll be plenty of opportunities to make coins today on the market, but also I think there will be a lot of places where people might be losing coins today, where there's supply and also where there is just a general kind of like moving past of the promo cards that drop today are super duper hype, which it looks like they are. Some people might move past a guy like Militao even and try out somebody like the new Tiago Silva. I would say that this, this Militao card is probably still going to be a little bit more meta than Tiago Silva anyways, but seeing how expensive he is, if Tiago Silva comes out and is like 200k, that might hurt Militao's price a little bit. Stuff like that on today's game is what I'm the most interested in seeing how the market is going to move with all of these brand new promo cards dropping on the game. So if you're excited for today, Drop a thumbs up on this video. Comment down below if you have any questions. It's going to be a crazy day of FIFA. We're going to be live streaming on Twitch. Link down below in the description. Trying to make some coins today on the market and just looking to see what kind of crazy content EA Sports dropped for us today on a Friday in FIFA 23. So if you're excited for it, again, drop a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. It has been Nathan for the count. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Out.